Okay. If this uh if this decides to load. There we go. Why is that red dot there? Oh, it's probably like signified recording. Anyways, what's up everybody? I just went for a walk to the store, bought myself some cucumber soda. It's called dry sparkling and it tastes absolutely beautiful. This red dot is bothering me a little bit, but I'm not gonna worry. Oh, can I can I just can I just get this off my screen? Can I can I can I don't, I don't like this. It's okay, we'll just keep the red dot there. We'll pretend it's out there. Anyways, we're gonna collect our upgraded arrow tower, and now we officially have three towers, two barricades, and a 15 point path. I believe, I have some money, that's cool. I believe we can build a second farm, which I'm gonna go grab, and a second tavern. And there we go, we got our two upgrades ready to go, and I guess we're just gonna go attack some people for, for some money, that's, that's what we're gonna go do. Anyway, so basically all of these first bases that are produced in the game are actually depend on the tutorial, so these aren't like built out because uh, these are other players online. The cool thing about this game is that everyone you play is an online player, which is basically similar to, you know, like Clash of Clans and Boom Beach, but what's really cool about it is that every single base is entirely unique. You guys might find similar bases, and again, when you get to post-game, the bases might become a lot more you know significantly similar because some bases actually are a lot more dominant compared to other ones but in the beginning of the game like you can literally build whatever you want so again uh it's the same thing you just want to spam out your knights the cool thing about the beginning of the game is that because you only have knights and you only have hammer strike it's almost impossible to lose the uh the bases because the game is what we would call incredibly linear so for that reason you just as long as you spam knights at least probably for like the first 10 or 20 levels of the game i'm just gonna guess if you just spam knights it's it's practically impossible to lose so as you'll notice uh you know your your little knights will have uh just one point of range to attack with but your uh, archers have a farther attack range meaning when you're across lanes you can shoot across them and i'm gonna explain to you guys why i set up my base the way i have it set up at the moment so in the meantime, again, it's, it's almost impossible to lose. You guys can now very well see the attack timer at the top of the screen. So uh, everything everything is going like pretty damn good so far, as far as I'm aware. Like everything is working just beautifully. So uh, we're at the base. We got 39 seconds to go. And uh, yeah, well, that's, that's it. So anyway, what's going to happen is dependent uh, every time something every time you progress through the base every time you break a certain building it'll get you a certain increment of money and finally uh, the cool thing about the game is that you can actually end up uh breaking the castle gate but not get three stars because you can actually destroy the base without breaking everything again i've never played the other games like clash or boom so i mean if this is already knowledge you guys already know bear with me but if this is your first time playing any kind of mmos on a uh, mobile device then i'm just giving you guys some basic knowledge to start the game with after you successfully tear down the castle again you don't need three stars if you successfully tear down a castle, you will have the option of opening up three different chests. So I'm going to choose top left, which got me one bottom left, and top right. There you go. Well, you're 14 pearls. Holy shit. I don't know if they changed the uh, overall what you can win out of a chest, but uh, what happens is three chests will be boobies, booby traps, and uh, boobies. Three chests will have boobies inside. Three chests will have uh, items for you to win. And uh, three chests will make you lose. If you lose and you get a skull, you will actually have to pay gems to continue to be able to play. Uh, I got a present. Tap the chest. I guess they added like a daily thing. That's kind of... Okay. Your next chest will be available tomorrow, which is an epic. Wow. Or unless they changed it. Oh, Okay. Filled with gems and contains at least one legendary gem reward. Wow. Okay, so this is this is definitely something new. Back when I used to play this game, this was not there. Anyways, we officially now have uh, two taverns, which make us money per the hour. You can check on their information. They make me a thousand an hour, and then they have a maximum capacity. The same thing with the farms. Every time you attack someone, it will in fact cost uh, bread, which is forty bread. And as of the moment, my farms produce 20 bread per hour. So every two hours, I would be able to attack someone, potentially. But if I have uh, two farms at level one, every hour I can attack some one person. So it works well as long as you... Uh, you know, you know what you're doing. I uh, have two farms upgraded to level one. I'm going to grab that. Have three taverns for you people. So these actual tickets, I don't exactly know what these were. Back when I stopped playing the game, these tickets got introduced into the game. So I'm not exactly too sure about what they do. 17 pearls. 
holy shit, this game is just like giving me so much. Wow, can I can I actually lower the SFX? I feel like they're a little loud. Where are my settings? I have no idea where my settings are. Uh, it's not under my friends. Is there a settings? Can I can I please access the settings? Because this is loud as shit. There we go. There's settings. Okay. So let me just lower my music down about there. And that... There we go. That's, that's much better. <laughs> anyway, so we're going to collect from our farms and collect our uh, bread really quick. And basically, I guess I'm just going to use all my attacks and then upgrade. In the meantime, I'm going to start upgrading my barricades. Each to level 2. And they should both be done in apox five minutes so i'm just gonna go ahead and spend all of my bread really quick be aware of archers that can shoot across the path so if you check out here this is similar to the base that i designed and basically what it means actually i will show you it's better to demonstrate than to explain what i do want to say though is that there's something that's very important that you guys understand is that you have only two workers to build stuff with but you can also upgrade individual things like for example I can upgrade my actual individual waves. So waves are separate from building the same thing where I can upgrade uh, troops. So I'm going to go ahead and upgrade my... Okay, you need Troop Academy level 2 for that. Okay. Uh, what about my actual spell? Can I upgrade my spell? Spell for a 1,000. So again, there's all these different things that you can upgrade that don't actually have anything to do with building, which is your troop, your your mage tower, and your... Um, your, your castle guard. So those are three different things. Oh, and your uh, inventor's workshop. So I can go ahead and upgrade. I'm going to upgrade my barrack. My bottle? Move your bottle. He's right next to me. He's going to tip it over. I don't think he's going to tip it over, but if you think he is, then there. So, okay. Anyways, we're going to go ahead and uh, set in a new attack. And it's basically introducing us to uh, lovely, lovely archers. So I'm going to go sip on my cucumber. My name. Guys, I'm telling you, cucumber. What is my name? Cucumbers. Cu and uh, something very important is when two, two different barricades are sitting there like that, the actual hammer strike can actually hit both of them at the same time. I don't know why you're on speaker of all things. Why would you be on speaker right now of all times? How'd you find out? So, anyways, the if you paid attention there, because there are four archers that are sitting. Go sit over there, man. Take the charger with you. So, anyways. <laughs> This is bullshit. Can you just go sit over there? You already have my charger. Just go sit over there. I love you too, man. So anyway, something that was uh, really important is that bullshit. with... Uh, my identity. They're called lanes, uh, essentially. And That's basically, like, man, with no the lanes, um, you if you have a ranged troop, a ranged troop can shoot across bullshit. lanes, which is actually really good. And the fact that they had archers and everything set up, and I don't have any archers to shoot back with, that was really, really smart of the person using the base. What wasn't smart is when they doubled up on the barricades like that. If they kept the barricades separate, then it actually would have uh, produced more time for me to get stuck. I have a knife on me. I have a knife on me. I'm ready And that is definitely something that you want to abuse the crap out of. Basically, the game is entirely strategy-based, so what you want to really get in the habit of doing... I'm pretty sure at the beginning of the game, they give you free wins on these chests, and I could be wrong. But I just want to say that because, like, I just remember on these earlier bases, it's, it's like it's almost impossible to lose. Again, you have all these little rewards and things that you can finish. Some of them are really small, but other ones, you know, 100,000. I remember they changed it. There used to be something that could give you, like, 1,000 gems. And with the updates to the game, they changed things around. But, like, it, it pissed me off, like, how they have these really big rewards. And then they changed the gem for these voucher things. Like, what do I want with vouchers? Like, what the, what the fuck is that? What can I... Oh, vou, vou, I have a voucher bazaar. Food, gold shield... Uh, yeah. gems like that does that just doesn't I don't I don't know can you can you watch YouTube videos for I don't even know what that is if that's gonna tell me I watch YouTube videos for vouchers I guess that's cool because I was always down to watch advertisements to get free thing I never cared about the advertisements I was never getting sucked into that bullshit so I'm not gonna worry about that but anyways you always 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 want to make sure that you grab your bread while it's maxed out so that way you are able to go ahead and and basically that's because I don't want to break the gate without breaking these other towers. This is really smart. This is this is something that's actually really smart to do. And that's that if you go ahead and uh, end up breaking the gate before you break the towers, you will actually not get your three crowns. So, oh, scream. If you scream, you will call them all over to you, which is good. But again, like I said, I don't want them to break the gate without me breaking this tower first, which I think we're going to be fine. 
I could have actually broken the gate by accident there. And again, this is a really, really smart base. Again, like I explained, if you want to bunch up everything somewhere, I would largely, largely, largely uh, suggest you do that up by your castle gate because if you end up breaking the gate without breaking all the towers, you get three stars. So this is actually, it's the first official battle that I fought, but that was really smart by him. So I will commend him for that. If you guys want to do anything strategic, build up around your castle gate. Again, don't double up too much. I would rather stick them in the diagonal. See, yeah, I'm officially done with tutorial, so I'm not going to win them so easily. But again, to get 14 pearls like that, that's actually really, it's really easy. So, um, again, I'm going to finish up all my battles, and then I'm, that's where I'm going to cut off the videos. So, so these deals, are, oh, 330. Wow. That's actually, it used to be 500. It's 81% off. That's amazing. Let me connect this to Facebook really quick. Uh, okay. I only have 134 gems, so we're not going to worry about that. Hammer Strike is officially level 2. It doesn't speed up the... Oh, God, everyone's talking so loud. It doesn't speed up the cooldown at all. Yeah, some so, I know, I know. It doesn't speed up the cooldown at all, but it, it did, in fact, increase the damage. So that's that's incredibly helpful. And you will see that next game. Uh, can I upgrade anything else? Um, again, you have your... your right here. This, this, this man, right? Can we upgrade anything? No, I think we already checked this out earlier. We can't upgrade either of these. You always can just check this out. We can't upgrade a spell. We can't upgrade a troop. And we can't upgrade your thing. Actually, can we upgrade our knight? I think we have to get to the next level before we can upgrade. Perfect. So everything is fully maxed out and upgraded. The only thing I'm upgrading now is my barricades as well as my wave. And we have approximately, if it costs 40 bread, we have just two more battles and then we will be, uh, we will be done for this video. So anyways, something that's real, that I would largely, everyone's so loud, Every, something that I would largely suggest that all of you guys abuse is to hit this new enemy. It costs 140 gold and I have 72,000 so it's not that much but look he cost he gives me 11,000 gold right What, mom? 15,000 gold just like that so 50,000 50,000 gold this early in the game and he has two towers that's that's it we're just we're easy that's easy 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 win we're definitely gonna want to go and grab this uh you guys want to abuse that feature like you you can find some really good finds what you want to do i mean as far as i'm aware you know at least what i used to abuse a lot you want to find the easiest base with the highest payout and so again there I, i'll explain to you guys what i believe is a is a good base a bad base a hard base or an easy base because sometimes even if the base isn't a good base it can still become complicated for a number of reasons and again as long as we're in this early part of the game there there's absolutely no reason we should do anything less than uh, three I'm crowns. Sorry. Every, sorry. Everyone's screaming I'm in the sorry. background. I'm so sorry about that, you guys. I'm not actually at my regular setup. But uh, I actually convinced Taha to play this game with me. And he quit because, uh, if you know me, I become incredibly competitive with games. And I, uh, I, I, oh shit, I wasn't supposed to do that. That's not where he's there. I was actually just checking the time. But anyways, wait, said I only got 26,000 gold. Why did I only get 20? Wait, what? Wait, 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 wait. It said I only got 26,000 gold. That's really weird. I was at 70,000. No, no, I got my I got my 50k. Never mind. I was I don't know why. Maybe I just hate it too fast. That's all right. Anyways, we have one more battle to win. And again, when you have your uh, this is your treasure chamber, it shows you how much gold you can hold at once. So we can only hold 150,000. So our goal before we finish off for our last run is to go ahead and try to max out our gold. See this, we don't I don't want to mess up this this early in the game. Like that's too, that's a bunch of time. It probably isn't difficult. I just don't want to mess with it right now until I get my troops a little higher up. 13, 24. So if I beat this base, which I most definitely will, I was already have a max treasure chamber, but you know what? Let's just go for something easy, right? Let's just okay, that's more difficult. Mm, don't want that. That because in the top left corner it has that one troop that we don't want to mess with. Not that, not that, not that. Let's just go look around for something a little bit. He already has, wow. So purple is uh, elite boosted units. He already has elite boosts. That's that's really interesting. I actually spent like at least a thousand dollars so far looking around for a troop. If I can find anything from twenty to thirty thousand, I will take it. But I you sh you shouldn't play with this too much because you can actually end up uh, you can lose your uh, 
you can end up spending more than you end up winning out. There you go. Perfect. See, this is super, super easy. It's exactly what I was looking for. Anyways, we're going to be finished here. And I know I just uploaded a video, but I'll go ahead and upload uh, this one as well. And then again, I won't be able to play this game again for four hours. Uh, just to let you guys know on my channel, I'm going to start playing the Pokemon games. So you guys are probably going to hit me for that. But I'm going to play like old Pokemon games. Like I'm going to play Pokemon Red Pokemon. I'll leave Korean. I'm going to play old generations. I'm not going to play newer ones. Not because I have anything against the newer generations, but just because I enjoy the older generations more. I have yet to play X and Y, Black and Y, uh, Alpha, Ruby, or Omega Sapphire, right? Alpha Ruby, Mega Sapphire, something like that. Anyways, I'm going to play Red version, maybe Yellow version, maybe Pokemon Colosseum, and stuff like that. I think that I would really enjoy. That's, that's, what, I'm, that's what I'm heading for. And uh, this, this should be it for this video, you guys. In the meantime, I just want to say thank you again to anyone who's been watching or anyone who is willing to watch games that aren't just Call of Duty because I do want to expand my uh, channel for the better. And this is definitely something that I would love to... Uh, this, this is a game that I legitimately enjoy. So we're almost about level 5. No. Bottom left, Fuck. top right, Back. bottom middle. Oh. Back, handsome. Okay, okay, I went, I went in too strong. There were all three were pearls? Oh, okay, something really important. Something ridiculously important I need to point out. When you are at the chamber at the end of your raid, you can win money, vouchers, gems, pearls, or equipment. Equipment are things you can attach onto your hero, as you see here, to increase the leadership, health, or attack, or other little bonuses like uh, elemental effects or running speed and stuff like that. If you have maximum gold, and you definitely, you most definitely want to abuse this at the beginning of the game. If you have maximum gold and you win a raid, you, can, you cannot win coins. So if you cannot win coins, that means you can win all this really good stuff. You can only win pearls. You can only win gems, stuff like that. And it's super, 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 super helpful. So this is something I would definitely abuse early on in the game. I'm just going to grab out my... Um, my food and that's going to be it but something you definitely want to abuse early on in the game is if you max out your treasure gold which should be 150,000 go raid places and do not spend any gold and you will be able to win out good pieces of equipment which you can either I mean sell later for more money or you could um, get so that you can uh, boost up yourself a lot more I'm almost at 700 trophies and I will see you guys all in the next video